Hello David, Paul here. Um, thought I'd just do a little quickie on this uh, this log that I'm uh, working on. And also an amazing discovery is an axe. You know you can buy axes and they're very expensive. You can buy these Swedish axes which are works of art. But this thing, I was making up my money on um, Amazon in order to make sure that I didn't uh, pay the delivery charges so I made it up to the value and I thought well I need an axe for Portugal and for the Philippines and I looked at this one and this is just ideal because basically it's like a chisel and so you can you can do like chisel work with it it's a very sharp razor edge sharp edge but I, I think I can improve on that so I'll do a bit of sharpening on that and I'll have it as sharp as a woodworking chisel and I'll use it for woodwork in the Philippines in two months time when I go there uh, because I'm going to be doing a lot of a um, lot of work there with logs as you'll see it's concave ground so they normally get the best sharp edges on them the rounder ones that the convex shapes are usually just for splitting sticks for the fire and stuff so anyway I started working on my log which I have, uh, it's a small sapling that I've filled. And um, what I want to do is I want to take the bark off down each side because I'll be running this down to form a very thick plank which will be a support for my bed. So if you can imagine, I'm going to take a plank out of the centre which won't warp, but it, I, when I'm saying a plank out of the centre, I'm talking like more like a beam. So I have to take the edge off on each side. Now, if I take the bark off, it's going to end up getting dirty and rotten and filth and all sorts getting into it. So I don't want to take all the bark off. That's not what I want to do. Um, but at the same time, if I take the bark off, it'll dry faster. And it means that poor me who's got to carry the damn thing and transport it, has a lot, a lot less weight to carry because I mean 50% of the weight of this wood is in water so the thing that I'm going to carry is going to weigh half as much if I can get it dried out the weather's getting better and things dry out so I should imagine the weight of this thing will substantially go down but I'll leave it here in the woods to do that so what I'm going to do is I'm taking off the bark off this side and I'm going to take it off that side. Now this side here will be the bit that's ornamental and left on. So I'm not going to take that bark off. Now if this gets all filthy and dirty and horrible, it doesn't matter because it's about that much of it is going to get cut off. So this will accelerate the drying of the log. And uh, I know you're supposed to mature these things for years and all that stuff. We haven't got time for that. We're working with green wood here. Um, and yes, it'll create tensions in the wood and we'll get cracks and things like that. Uh, splits and shakes, which are cracks running along the length of the log. But we don't need to worry about that because it'll just add a bit of rustic interest to it. Now, I, I, I didn't know if I was going to make this video, but um, I decided I have, I will, because I was really amazed. I started attacking this and I'm amazed at how well it cuts into the into the wood it's just slicing through the wood rather than just taking off the bark I could actually stand here and trim down this log I have to be careful here I'm holding a camera I'm trying to do woodwork both at the same time but you can see how really really easy it is to work with this thing so anyway you get it off you get it off Amazon and it's a Spear and Jackson. It's got a lightweight plastic handle. Now you might think, well, will it last? Well, it was only, I think in America it would be about $20, so it's not expensive. But this is, a, I, I can just tell the quality of this steel. It's a very good quality thing. So let us say I abuse it and it gets wrecked and this, this part here gets damaged and it falls out and then I just end up with a mess right well what you can do is you just go out 
make another Amazon order and get another one. But what you get at the end of the process is you're going to get that big steel wedge there, which is going to be a very useful thing for splitting logs. Either splitting logs or wedging into trees when you're trying to cut them down so you wedge that piece into a tree. So it's got a multitude of uses and it's it's a very it's a very well balanced thing. It's you can hold it there, you can hold it there. It's really I'm impressed at the balance of this thing. It's a real woodworker's type of uh, axis. So that's it. That's all I can say about this axe. And as you can see, you can see how well it works on the the wood and I'm not going to do any more with one hand in case I chop my own leg off or something and that's it so anyway Atilago Makita Tayo Sakana see you later Jesus be with you <laughs>